kids with those allergies, so I just sort of put up with it. I didn't know what was going on. I don't know why they had allergies, but it was just something I had to put up with, right? But then my son, one day, he said, Mom, I wish all my allergies could go away. And the voice in my head said, well, what if there is something that I can do about this? What if he doesn't have to live with this for the rest of his life? So I started researching and I found out that there are GMO foreign proteins in our food since 1996. They first started in the milk and then they put them in soy and corn, which is in everything that we eat. I was shocked that these foreign proteins were in our food without our knowledge, without our permission and without labeling. There's three kinds of GMOs. The first one, it's called BT toxin. It's either in corn or soy or cottonseed. It is genetically engineered to constantly reproduce this BT toxin. When the bug eats, let's just say the corn, its stomach explodes from this constantly reproducing BT toxin. So it's a registered pesticide with the EPA and we're eating this corn. The second one is Roundup Ready. The plant has been genetically engineered to withstand Roundup. They can spray it with all the Roundup they want, which is an herbicide at the tune of five billion pounds a year, and it doesn't die. So our food won't die, but everything else around it dies. The bugs, the worms in the soil, all the weeds. And the good can, bacteria in the, the soil. The good bacteria, it soaks into the plant, and it does not wash off. The problem with that is that there's a chemical in it called glyphosate, which destroys our gut bacteria. 70% of our immune system is there. Without that gut bacteria, we can't produce tryptophan. Without tryptophan, our bodies don't produce serotonin. Without serotonin, we can't regulate blood sugar. Diabetes now, which is hugely on the rise, costs our federal government $279 billion a year. And just to put that in perspective, $514 billion is what is spent on all of our health issues combined, including cancer. The projection is that in 13 years, we will not have money for any other health care at all, except for diabetes. We will not have a health care system. The third type of GMO is a GMO that doesn't have pesticides injected into it. It's actually just a desired trait. Let's say you want to have the lettuce to be more green or the tomato to be more red. They inject this desired trait in, but the problem is, is it has two promoters on either end of it. And these promoters' jobs are to wake genes up. We as moms are concerned that these promoters could be waking genes up in our children's bodies. We all have latent cancer genes or maybe even rare diseases that are just latent, right? That may never wake up or anything. But with these promoters waking genes up, who knows what's happening? Right. There's been no testing on that. And why is all of a sudden cancer the number one killer of our children? This is an attack on our children. If 50% of our male adults were getting injured by something, it would be war. The FDA has let us down. They failed us. Their whole job is to ensure that our food supply is safe. They haven't even taken the first basic step. They've never required independent long-term safety tests on genetically engineered food. They're relying on tests that are done by the very industry that stands to profit from both the sale of the seed and the sale of the chemicals that those seeds are genetically engineered to resist. The basis by which they determine genetically engineered foods are safe is built on a laughable and unscientific policy uh, called substantial equivalence. If you applied substantial equivalence to beef, for instance, a uh, cow with mad cow disease would be substantial equivalent to a healthy cow. So it would have the same protein and carbohydrates and vitamins as would a healthy cow, but it's obviously not safe. But we're using that rubric and applying it to genetically engineered food. So we're saying because genetically engineered corn has the same protein, carbohydrates, and vitamin A as its conventional counterpart, it must be safe. And that's not scientific, and it's not proof of safety. It's not proof of healthy food.